Hi guys, so I recently took a trip to New York City because it was my sweet 16 birthday present from my parents and these are a few things that we did. One of our very first stops was the M&M and Hershey stores which are right across the street from each other so you can walk to them and they're near Times Square. They're both filled with bright colors and assortment of their chocolates and candies and it's definitely a really cute place to stop by and it's really cool because it'll tell you what M&M you are but for some reason I was dark chocolate mix. I'm not sure what that means but I guess that's interesting. Next stop was Times Square and it was pretty cool because we got to see a lot of interesting people and we went into some huge stores. So for example, we went to the Disney store which was really cute. I spent a ton of time in the princess section and we also visited the Forever 21 store which oh my goodness was huge and then later we did pick up some lunch and we went to Bubba Gump's which is a seafood restaurant based off of Forrest Gump. I noticed we also took in a lot of talent in New York City, like this guy in Central Park. And there is also someone in Chinatown. People were even singing on the subways. This leads me to another thing that we did. We rode the subways, of course, and this is a necessity. To me, it's the best transportation, and you see some pretty interesting people. Plus, it won't take too long, and it's not expensive either. Another quick thing I wanted to mention was Bibble and Sip, a coffee shop, and it has a really good green tea cream puff. Even though it sounds a little weird, it tastes amazing. So definitely check it out if you're in New York. On one particular night, we saw Jersey Boys at the August Wilson Theater, and that was a really great show. My family and I love the music, so if you're going to see a show in New York, I would recommend seeing that one. For more entertainment one night, we picked up some dessert and we headed to the Metropolitan Opera House. It was easy to walk to, and it was really nice inside. We got to see La Traviata, which is an opera, and it was really cool. We also went to Soho, which is basically the Shopaholics Wonderland. There are a ton of stores, some of them high-end like Dash, but there are also American Apparel, Topshop, Brandy Melville. We went into a ton. Another thing we did was stop at a random food stand in Soho, and we actually got some hot dogs, and they were pretty good. Whether you're in the mood to relax and sit on a bench or ready to explore the scenery, Central Park is definitely a lovely place to spend the afternoon. There was ice skating while we were there and there was also still snow on the ground. It was wonderful, even though it was pretty chilly. Somewhere, somewhere in Little Miss Perfect sitting at the train stop. We also paid a visit to the 9-11 Memorial and Museum. It was a beautiful museum. It's definitely a must do if you're going to visit New York City. It honestly inspired me and helped me realize how strong our country is and also how proud I am to be a citizen here. Times Square can shine as bright as you I swear it's true Hey there Delilah, don't you worry about the distance I'm right I also enjoyed seeing the random works of art everywhere like this one in Little Italy as well as the random eyes that are scattered around subway stations all over New York We also went to West Village, which I loved. If you're hungry, definitely go to the Bus Stop Cafe. It's a really cute and cozy little restaurant, and the best seat is by the window. I'd recommend the grilled chicken sandwich, which is what I had. Also in West Village, we went to the Magnolia Bakery, which was really, really delicious. They had a ton of different cupcakes, so I picked up a vanilla latte and 
a little purple cupcake to eat. Another thing we did was ride in a taxi because duh, New York, and I just feel like that's something you have to do if you're in New York. So last but not least, we experienced a crisis while we were in New York City. At the time, weather forecasters were predicting a snowstorm Juno, and that was kind of scary for us because we knew our flight was going to get canceled, so we changed our flight, but then that one got canceled. So then we had to go through all this crazy mess just so we could get home. We ended up having to fly in an airport near us, kind of, and then we had to rent a car to get home. It was quite an adventure. So those were a few things that we did while we were in New York City. I hope you guys enjoyed and subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you all next Sunday. Bye!